Namaste. I was just sitting here waiting for my lunch to cook and thinking over a conversation that I had with my friend Matt. And we were talking about Yoga Vasishta, of course, <laughs> and right view. And he was saying, you know, I, I'm thinking that uh, I'm understanding better by going into my mind, which is just the opposite of what you're told to do in meditation. And I said, yeah, I replied, right view is so fundamental that if you really get it right, you get everything else more or less automatically. That's been my experience. I didn't think too much about it at the time. But today I was thinking about it and realized, wow, you know, that's really true. Osho talks about Nirvana, the last nightmare. And what he means by that is that the search for enlightenment, the quest, uh, the pursuit of meditation and so on, is just as much of an insanity, just as much of a suffering, just as much craziness as the whole business of maintaining an ego and so on and so forth. And he's right. It's a fabrication. Now, of course, it's part of a process of becoming that ends in enlightenment. And so in the beginning, there has to be fabrication. But wait. <laughs> Yoga Vasishta knows a better way. I thought about it. And I, you know, I've been going ahead in the book, making editorial decisions and about what I'm going to show on here and what I'm not and so on. And reading toward the end of the book where he's talking about nirvana. And I realized that there isn't anywhere in the whole book where he tells you to do something. Huh? He doesn't tell you, stop doing this, give up that, go do this asana or do that or do anything. He's, he just tells you, look, this is the way it is. What do you call the world and I, the ego, the mind, the body, and all of that is just a projection. It's not real. If you really understand that, if you really get it, or even if you don't really get it, but you believe it enough to where you start the process of Atma Vichara, self inquiry. That will bring you to the ultimate point. So there are, there are three points actually in this philosophy, three fundamental points. One is, if you are aware of yourself, if I ask you, do you exist? And you say yes, <laughs> you're already self-realized. The self is already realized. I am. That's it. So in that sense, like Osho used to say, everybody is already enlightened. Down to the dogs and cats and insects and plants and everybody, every sentient being is already enlightened. So then what's all this fuss <laughs> about teachings and sadhana and this and that and so on. Okay. You're enlightened on the foundation, but then you create this superstructure, this house of cards based on speculation. I am the body. I am the mind. I am this separate individual ego. Huh? All this is just bullshit. <laughs> it's not real. But how do you get to the point where you can drop it? That's the question. So, okay, 
The first point is you already realized. Second point is the philosophy that only Brahman exists. Everything else is just a picture show. It's just a symbol. It's just a temporary projection like the waves on the ocean. The waves define the ocean in a way by showing its limit. But actually the waves are nothing but ocean. And they're like a mirage. They come and go. When the wind blows hard, the waves get big. When the wind stops, they drop down to nothing. Or when the waves hit the shore, they crash with all kinds of drama. But in the end, it's just foam. And it disappears. So in that way, simply by adopting right view, that's half of it right there. If you really get the model of reality, which Yoga Vasishta presents from every possible angle, every possible point of view, giving many, many, many examples and comparisons and similes and metaphors. If you really get that, that is half the battle already. So what's the other half? Atma Vichara. One day, you're going to sit down with yourself and say, hmm, if all this stuff I'm hearing about in Yoga Vasishta is really true, then that means, and you start to think for yourself, who am I really? What am I really? And of course, I'm not going to give away the conclusion <laughs> because the conclusion is more than words. If you successfully reach the conclusion of that chain of reasoning, which once started, I don't see how it's avoidable, <laughs> especially if you have the right view, actually have it, then it's over. It's finished. There is no more rebirth, no more karma, no more being and non-being, no more duality at all. That's it. So these three things, the fact that we're already realized that there's right view available through the scriptures and the process of Atma Vichara, self-inquiry. Who am I? What am I? according to that right view. Not just speculation, but reason, solid reasoning, will allow you to fully implement your pre-existing self-realization. <laughs> and that's the end of all suffering. That's the end of, of taking the world seriously, uh, as if it's real or something. <laughs> I know, I know, you're sitting there thinking this guy is off his rocker, right? Yeah, you should be so off your rocker. You should be so crazy as I am. That's right. Because I was able to surmount so many difficulties in my life by seriously studying this philosophy and implementing it in my life and dedicating my whole life now to helping others by spreading it. And guess what? Things are just getting better and better and better. I'm so happy now as I have never been in my whole life. And it's only because of this realization, this philosophy, and this self-inquiry. So, those are the only three things necessary. Just keep hearing, keep trying to understand this worldview of Yoga Vasishta. And one day you're going to sit down and have that conversation with yourself. And that's when you become truly enlightened. Om Tat Sat. 
ओम हरि ही ओम करुणारणवम करदगदिनु अरुणाचल शिव गीता